with uh, the ATM business, it can be completely passive if you'd like it to. I'd probably consider moving into running the business full time versus, you know, staying in my job and kind of being bound to the nine to five job, you know, so to speak, just to have more financial freedom, really. Hi, good evening, everyone. This is Andrea Rich coming to you from ATM Together. Tonight, I have a fellow neighbor and New Yorker. Joining us tonight, we have Corey Holtz. Are you there, Corey? Yep, I'm here. All right, so outside of being from New York, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, so I am uh, 30, I'll be 31 here in, a, in about a week or so. Um, so I'm a CPA, I work with uh, an accounting firm, so I uh, contract out to different clients in the upstate New York area. Um, so, but kind of, you know, in the accounting field for probably five, six years now. Um, so, but yeah, I was looking to get into, kind of was exploring the ATM business and whatnot. And so kind of it piqued my interest and, and found ATM together, so. Being a CPA and embarking on the ATM arena is a vast difference. So what about your lifestyle right now? Had you looking into the ATM business? Um, so for me, it was exploring different areas of uh, other income streams, you know, looking towards passive income. I know with uh, the ATM business, it can be completely passive if you'd like it to. I was the beginning, I wanted to learn it, be involved with it for now. And I mean, eventually, if you know it grows enough, I'd probably consider moving into running the business full time versus, you know, staying in my job. But the big motivator was um, looking at, you know, another income stream and kind of being bound to the nine to five job, you know, so to speak, just to have more financial freedom, really. You know, we've already established that we're both New Yorkers and, yeah. you know, jokingly, New Yorkers have a niche for being a little skeptical. So how yep. was it starting this business virtually with people that you've never met? I mean, I have to say it was pretty smooth. Um, you know, they got the ball rolling pretty quickly. Um, I had really only, I hadn't found too many other companies out there that kind of do, you know, a similar thing where they like help you get your business up and going. But I'd, I'd seen the most about ATM together. And I mean, it, it, it was pretty, pretty easy, pretty simple, you know, I, you know, everyone I had talked to through the process, especially at the beginning, um, you know, was, was very nice. They answered every question I had and, you know, helped me feel comfortable with everything, you know, in terms of like what we were getting for what we were paying for and, you know, kind of what was involved in getting started. So that was definitely helpful. Outside of the ATM arena, do you have any other side hustles? No, not that I'm actually involved in. Um, I do a little bit, you know, investing and whatnot, but this is kind of, I've like always been wanting to start a business and, you know, I've been, was always looking to so many different things. And then I've kind of like, you know, seen, you know, the ATM business on and off over time. And then it, the, the more I looked into it, the more I was kind of like, I got drawn to it and realized that this, it made the most sense to me, um, you know, cause it's, it's really, I'm like, man, this is a really simple business model. And I'm like, sometimes boring is better. I'm that kind of person. Sometimes boring is better. It doesn't have to be flashy. And, you know, it seemed like it was simple, but easy to get into. Just like anything else, if you buy something nice, buy a nice car, you want to tell people about it. So yeah. who, who would you tell about ATM together? I mean, really, I'm thinking of a couple of friends of mine that might be interested you know i have one of my good friends we had been talking a couple months ago about you know how do we get passive income and that was before i took the leap with atm together but um i mostly like friends you know family members possibly if they'd be interested i'd let them know i'm kind of you know i've i've uh, like my brother owns a business so i'm kind of trying to work with him on the atms right now so but if you know down the line he wanted to you know get in on his own i would you know i definitely recommend you guys so there's probably someone on the other side of the screen that's going to watch this video. They've been in the group, they've watched the lives, they asked a hundred questions, but they still haven't decided to join the team. What would you mm -hmm. tell that person to help them take the leap of faith and join ATM together? I mean, as with anything, you know, I, I would tell anyone, do your research, um, get to know it. I mean. Definitely like, you know, the clients only group has been super helpful has been, I've been still learning. Um, I know I'm still relatively new and things aren't quite, you know, really rolling yet. You know, I'm trying to, you know, expand more locations and whatnot, but 
Um, really just like, you know, do your research and talk to people in like the beginner group, you know, there's a lot in there. You can like just Google different keywords of what you're looking for just yeah. to see what people are asking about and, you know, different helpful tips. Even I know like in terms of like the, um, the actual like process of like taking care of the machines and whatnot. Like I know like same down in the groups got always got things going on in there. So just yeah. start, you can start doing that by just, you know, learning about it and asking people who are involved with the company and ask, you know, how are they doing with it? What was their experience right. like with the location finder and all that? Before we part ways this evening, are there any final words you would like to impart upon the group? At the end of the day, you know, you gotta realize like, it's still your business. Like you gotta be the one taking the initiative and running it. So, I mean, if yes. you're expecting someone else to completely take the reins, it's probably not gonna work for you. Like you still gotta right. be the one to put in the effort. It's just, nice like someone like with ATM together you know they've got you guys have the infrastructure you know in terms of just like you know with the machines the processing and the resources you know it's it's definitely been super helpful versus trying to coordinate and figure that all out by yourself thank you so much Corey for joining us this evening we appreciate you for being part of the team and we definitely look forward to you scaling your business have yeah, a good you're evening you're welcome you too thank you all right